that they didn't even get all out on. So all I have by right in front of the eyes of God is to bash them back. I don't know about you people, but I believe in God and I believe in what's right and what's wrong. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. That's how I live my life. If they would have taken me out or someone in my family out, then what do you think is going to happen? But as I live my life like this, they jump me. When I get the opportunity, I will jump them back. That's it. And if they want to escalate it to a next level, trust me, these idiots know. Oh, I come from a very, very dangerous world. I know a lot of dangerous people that have got no fucking money. Trust me. These streets are very dangerous. You know what I mean? I could escalate this in a second. You know what I mean? But fuck, get over it. When I got jumped, it was like fucking Barack Obama got jumped. It's like the president of a country got jumped. The whole world stopped. I swear to God, it was on every fucking news station, every newspaper. You had 300 police officers cross the border. This is from their mouth. They go, mate, when we see you got jumped, we all got in our fucking cars and we crossed the border and we kicked down all the Mongol doors because we thought you're going to go ballistic. They said to him just the other day, they go, we were very surprised. No one has died. I said, why? Why the fuck are you surprised? They're like, we know you're a madman and you, your family are all madmen. And I, I, there's a difference between being a madman and a silly man. I am going to front God one day. And when I do, I need to be able to justify my actions in this life. Wiping out a motorcycle club for jumping me is not justification. So, all this hype and that, and all these other guys that are lingering around that have got dramas of those guys and are trying to seek retribution on their own end and try to blame me. I hear things on these streets, trust me, I hear a lot of whispers, people saying, be careful, bro, this cunt, that cunt, they're all watching, you know? And even people want to get me and make as if it was them. I'm aware of all this, but rest assured, the only intention I've got is to bash these cunts when I see them. That's it. No weapons. They never used weapons on me, which they could have, and they didn't. So you, you got to play, you got to play this game fairly. Trust me when I tell you this. If, if I was going to go off ego, and all that rubbish, I would have hit back on you. Mark my fucking words. But nah, I don't listen to all you people trying to G me up. Man. Even the police tried to G me up. The fucking police tried to, when they raided my house, they tried to rape, like they tell me, the other day I got pulled over, right? And AJ is a witness to this. He's a fucking bikey from a different crew. He's not in my crew where He's going to say, oh, he's just saying that because he's your best mate. He'll speak the truth. Even the fucking police that grabbed us that day in front of him said to me, all the Mongols are in Tweed's head, Tweed heads. I looked at him, I go, what? He goes, obviously they're not around here. They're all in Tweed heads. Why the fuck would the police, the police, tell me where they are? But I'm not stupid. You know what I mean? Like, it's, this is a dangerous world we live in, mate. You know what I mean? These fucking police play games. You got police telling me where the Mongols are camping out. Telling me that yeah, they're all in Tweed Heads. They're, they're, like that's, they're based themselves. Most, most of them are there. I was like, what are you telling me this for? And then the copper got paranoid because he realised he had a camera there. I said, what are you telling me this for? Are you telling me to go get them? Then he changed his whole tone. But that's a stupid fucking world we live in. Like every time I get online, everyone in the comments, Oh, why haven't you got a wife? Listen, you idiots. Let these cunts dare step into my area and walk through my area, then we'll see. But to go and look for them and play this game, we're not at that level. Trust me. You're only at that level is when it gets escalated to next level. Right now, it's, it's schoolyard level. Fist fights if we see each other. If I've got numbers with me and I see a few of them, then yeah, 100% get them back. But it's not at the level you can't sort of think. Straight out. And the Mongols are gross.